Look at this beautiful day out, guys. What's going on? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408. Toby Tuesday today. So I just got back from up north. We were in the French River on a fishing trip all weekend. I've had a cold for almost a week now, but it is pretty much gone. Ugh, such weird weather. It's been so hot, but I uh, slept with my window open the other night when it was cold, and then I got a cold, so don't sleep with your window open, apparently. Um, anyways, yeah, we had an amazing trip. Caught lots of fish. I didn't win, unfortunately, but uh, I was close. I was about a pound off. I got a five and 5.4 pound pike, and then I got a 5.3 pound pike, so I did pretty good. You know, I was happy. And uh, yeah, so... It's been an exciting spring slash almost summer. And uh, I've been grooming up the track. I blew the uh, hydraulic hose the other day, so it's supposed to be fixed. It's supposed to be fixed Friday, but they're waiting for a part. So hopefully it'll be done this week and I can finish the rest of the track and so on. And if you guys haven't seen the video, I posted two videos today, so this is the second video. If you guys haven't seen the previous video, well, I bought a Maverick. So this is the new weapon. Sorry, it's kind of dirty right now. I ripped it, put it away, and then took off for the weekend. I literally just got back now. Like, how dirty my truck is. We had to gr drive down a, a gravel road for like 45 minutes in the rain. So anything here. Anyways, this thing is a freaking weapon. I got like 10 kilometers on it. I've already jumped it a couple times. It is so much fun. I got the winch, the bumper, the roof, the lower door panels, the stereo system, the four-point harness, and all the gadgets. So anyways, we are going to have some fun with this thing. So I had the Yamaha last year. Yamaha lent me that one. <clears throat> but obviously at the end of the year, I had to give it back. And unfortunately, they didn't want to do another one this year. So I said, you know what? It's time to upgrade. It's time to get something better. So we got the... The Maverick Turbo. So I do actually like this one better. The Yamaha was great, but um, this one's just so much faster and uh, faster and smoother. And like I've only got 10 kilometers on it. I don't really know a whole lot about it yet, but I do love it better already. So, anyways, Toby Tuesday. Um, let's go get Toby and uh, answer you guys' questions and. Yeah, then I'm gonna relax. It's 33 degrees out today. It's so hot. Luckily, I was driving most of the day with the air conditioning on, but I just got out of the truck and I just started sweating instantly. Look at this. I got dolphin shorts today. How sweet are those? From Team LTD. Whew. All right, let's go. Yeah, I can't even talk. Let's go get Toby. Hey, Tobes. Toby. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Tobes. What are you doing? It is hot out here. He didn't want to come out today. We'll just do a few questions, Tobes, and then you can go chill in your nice air-conditioned office. Hey, you're just an old man now. <laughs> you just like hanging out. All right. I think we should do Toby Tuesday out front today. Hey, look at all these little keys falling. Wee. Toby, how you doing? You good? Yeah. You're brushing tubes. Every time I brush you, it's like the next day you need a brushing again. Oh, anyways, I am tired. I need a nap. Long weekend. Lots of fish caught though, but there was 18 of us, so all guys. So you know, there's always guys getting up early. There's always guys getting up late. So there wasn't much sleeping going on. Plus we fished every morning and fished all day, then fished all night. So you're in the sun all day. I am really sunburned, so I got a nice sunburn yesterday. Didn't wear sunscreen, because I figured I'd get a little color, but uh, I am tanning. Can you see my tan line there? <laughs> Most gingers don't tan. Most stay fairly white, so I tan a little bit. Not too much. Hey, buddy. All right, we got some good questions from you guys. Yeah, I'm excited for that Maverick. Uh, you know, I wanted to buy one, I didn't want to spend the money, and then I was like, you know what, whatever, let's just do it. So views were going up on YouTube, things are going well, so I figured, why not? Talked to the dealership, I got a really good deal. Um, and yeah, so I got that new trailer too, so I can haul it around. So I'll be taking it to trails and buddies' places and taking it up north and 
We'll make all the videos with it, right, Tobes? We'll make all the all the Maverick videos. Anyways, questions. There's been a lot of a lot of comments lately on YouTube, but not not a ton of questions. But there's been some good stuff. So, anyways, uh, first question, Major Reaper. When are you going to rip some motos on the quad? That is a good question. I wasn't really planning on ripping motos with the quad. Like I know. I did announce I was bringing the quad back last year. I did, I've done a ton of videos with it. You guys love the videos, but the thing is 10 years old now and uh, it's starting to like leak oil and I, I need to like rebuild it and get all the seals redone. Cause it was, when I took it down to Minnesota, it was started leaking oil out of all the seals and stuff. So I don't know, uh, I'm just, I don't want to like do a full moto on it wide open and have it explode or pop or anything. And then I have no quad, right? So. I don't know if I want to do motos with it. I, you know, that's what I have my dirt bike for. I kind of just have the quad to keep you guys happy and screw around to do goon riding. So I do want to do another goon riding video soon though. And I got to do an easy quad unload again because I got a new truck. So it's easy quad unload time, Tobes. <laughs> hey, what are you eating? <laughs> Tobes, Toby, Toby. Goodbye. All right, um, head wound. Why did you have a Yamaha YXZ SS instead of an R? Did you not want the foot clutch? Well, actually I didn't have a choice on what I was getting. They just gave me that, uh, the YXZ for, the YXZ 1000 for, I think it was like six months, basically for the summer. So I didn't really know what I was getting and uh, that's the one they gave me. So they were trying to promote the paddle shift. And actually I liked the paddle shift a lot. I never got to drive the one with the clutch. But I did hear a lot of guys talk, or I did talk to a lot of guys that had the clutch one and they said they liked the paddle shift better. And even with the paddle shift, I found I was shifting a lot. And I feel like if I had the clutch one, like the shifting would just get annoying, especially in trails and on the track and stuff. So I don't know, I liked it how it was with the paddle shift, but um, I'm sure, you know, everyone's different. So some guys like the paddle, some guys like the clutch. You want the paddle? It is hot. Ugh, I can't wait to just relax. I just drove six hours down the highway with Brad farting the whole time, so it did not smell well. It was rough. Um, what else do we have here? Danny Jr., how did you do a burnout in the manual vehicle? Um, I don't really know what you mean by that. People just rip down this road. <laughs> And they just uh, they just groomed the road this week or last week, and they haven't sprayed calcium on it yet. So, literally just dust on dust. This is why I didn't get another black truck because as soon as I wash it, it just gets covered. So, anyways, the question, Danny Jr., how did you do a burnout on a manual vehicle in a manual vehicle? Well, um, basically how I did it, I just pulled up the e brakes so it uh, you know the e brake engages or um, blocks up the back tires and then you just pop the clutch, right? So that's how I did it. Um, there's many ways you can do it, but that's the, how I chose to do it. So you can usually shift a few gears, but uh, yeah, you can't get too high in gears. So um, 220 Nitro, you should try shifting the Saturn from first to fifth gear and see what happens. I'm guessing that comment was from the Saturn burnout video. So uh, like I just said, yeah, you can shift maybe one or two gears while doing a burnout, but you know, once it starts getting uh, up to the fourth or fifth and doesn't have that much torque and traction, you know, the tires get stickier, it uh, will probably just stall out. So I have shifted from first to fifth before and it just stalls out, right? So nothing exciting, nothing exciting at all. Hey, right, Tobes? We're almost done. We'll get a picture of you and then I'll take you back to the nice cool barn. Um, last question, Jeff Porter 831, you should get a plow for the X3 so you can groom the track. That's funny, but um, th no, the X3 is a side-by-side, -side. it's not a bulldozer. Uh, the plows they have for them are for just snow, for like pushing on your driveway, not for pushing dirt and stuff. You'd probably just bend it all to hell and so on. So um, yeah, thank you guys for the questions. As always, make sure you check out the links below. Uh, I've been getting a ton of new subscribers, so if you guys are new to the channel, every Tuesday I do Toby Tuesday and just answer uh, questions from the previous week. From uh, yeah, so from all the videos. <clears throat>
Oh, I need to get over this soon. Anyways, so uh, yeah, check out the links below. Have your get, have yourself a good rest of your week. If you guys have any suggestions for videos, let me know. I have the Maverick now, so I want to uh, start touring with it and taking it up north and stuff. So if you guys have any great places to go riding, let me know, and uh, maybe I'll come join you. So, anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up for now, Tubbs. Being a good boy. Yeah. Good boy. So, um, I don't know what else to say. I don't think, I haven't really made a plan for this week yet, actually. So, I don't know what that actually is going on, what videos we're doing. I'm, I got three cars right now, so I'm not planning on getting any more cars until uh, we smash those ones up. Because I just, I don't want to have a full parking lot of cars down there. Um, but I'm thinking we should jump the Grand Prix or the Saturn this week. I still got to change the tires on the Saturn from when we burnt them off. But, uh, yeah, so I think we're due for a car jump and we should uh, definitely get one jump. So thank you guys again. You guys are amazing. Have uh, the best day, the rest of your day. If, uh, you know, if this is morning and you're watching it or this is evening watching it, go have fun. So we'll see you guys later.